So I'm reading the New York Post and I'm reading that the Clippers are definitely, you know, interested in trying to go the extra mile to try to get Chris Paul back on the Clippers. And, you know, his return will be, you know, great for some fans in the in Clipper Nation because a lot of fans really adored him, liked him a whole lot and thought he really had what it takes to bring a championship to this team. But, you know, he wasn't able to. And now the fact that he's older, it really it really would worry me a lot more having him, you know, re into the locker room on the team and they're trying to win a championship. And you have a player in Chris Paul who really is much older now and really can't carry a load the way he once could. Now, of course, Kawhi and PG is on the team still currently, unless any changes or or moves are made amongst those two players. But um, it really doesn't uh, look like the most ideal situation because the last few playoffs, Chris, Chris Paul has really either been injured or he's really showed his age. And that's not something that the Clippers really need. You know, honestly, I would rather them keep just Russell Westbrook and run with him, you know, over Chris Paul because Chris Paul looks older. He plays older and he can knock down big shots. He can be a factor. Don't get me wrong. But how many games is he going to be there and be available for the Clippers? I mean, the Clippers already have issues with Kawhi and PG staying on the floor. You don't need to acquire somebody else of the magnitude name of Chris Paul, which a lot of people would in, in theory say it's a championship if he comes to the Clippers pending on health, though, and see, that's the thing with the Clippers. They possibly could have won a championship way before now if health was on their side, but it never has been. So besides the bubble, and that was really, you know, a situation where the Clippers didn't want to be in. They didn't want to be there. Uh, the reports came out tons of times, and um, even players on the Lakers said when they had the meeting, the Clippers didn't want to be in the bubble. So that was just a really odd situation for them and a lot of other teams as well. But Either way, you know, it um, it's a situation to me where now it's like a three uh, team trade deal is is into is into play. And that's, you know, I was reading the New York Post and that's what they were saying, you know, where the twist is because Bradley Bill is a free agent and ready to move on from Washington. There is a scenario where the trade goes from Washington to or Bradley Bill goes from Washington to the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Suns part ways or parted ways with Chris Paul and allow the trade to go through where it sends him to the Clippers. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's really an ideal situation to me, but, you know, it's 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 ideal to some people. And I definitely respect anybody's opinion who think it it, it is. But um, like I said, I don't know if the Clippers will really benefit from Chris Paul. I really don't. And the reports that I'm reading, other reports that I've read, the Clippers are really interested in getting Chris Paul because they feel like he is the missing piece that they had years ago. But they didn't have a player like Kawhi, you know, to help bring them to the promised land and help deliver a championship. Well, well, I get all that, but as I said before, he's more injury prone and he's a lot older and his age shows a lot during the season now and it shows even more in the playoffs. And, you know, he can't just, you know, uh, dominate a game the way he once could. I mean, he can do it in spurts. He can knock down big shots, but he, he can't defend kind of sort of the way he used to when he was a lot younger. Of course, he's not as quick and his, you know, his, his his instincts aren't as good as they once were in regards to, you know, reaction time being on the court. But at the same time, he's still an effective point guard. He's still a top point guard, top 10 point guard in the league, I, I would say still, I, I, I assume, because it really isn't that many, you know, great point guards in the league. You know what I'm saying? So uh, at, least, at least I could barely think of 10 of them. But regardless, you know, he, he's still a formidable name and all those things. But I just don't know what he has left in the tank to help the Clippers win a championship when he's injury prone and he's older and the Clippers are already going through a lot of injuries. They don't need uh, somebody on the team that's going to give them more injuries. If I were the Clippers, I would rather trade for Bradley Beal and bring him on rather than give Bradley Beal to the Phoenix Suns and make them a lot better. I mean, I just wouldn't do that. I mean, that that's to me, if the Clippers go through with this trade, they're allowing the Phoenix Suns to be one up on them because they'll have a younger player in Bradley Beal. They'll have a, a, a scorer in Bradley Beal, a dude who um, goes out there and plays a little bit of defense, you know, as well. 
And on, on top of that, he's just a straight up knockdown shooter. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely somebody that Kevin Durant and Devin Booker would, would definitely, you know, feed off of to a degree because with him being able to score 20 plus points a game, that takes a lot of pressure off KD and Devin Booker to score a lot of nights and they can actually take some nights off and let him go out there and do his thing. And they kind of just coast through the game and, you know, just go at it that way because you have a third scorer who is solidified. And that's the reason why I said the Clippers be better off trying to trade for Bradley Beal than to do a three-team trade and give Bradley Beal to a team that already has, you know, a lot of firepower and, uh, you know, and Booker and KD. And, you know, you get the the bitter end, the scraps, you know what I'm saying, the crumbs off the ground, which is Chris Paul, an old Chris Paul, who's really not even close to his prime, nowhere near it. And he looks like he's just getting older by the minute. So, I mean, I just think the Clippers are, would be taking a crap deal if they did this. And this is the one thing about the Clippers I always disliked. You can't, you got to stop making bad decisions if you want to win championships. Teams don't win championships just because because they got star players teams win championships because the other guys around the star players coincide with them they fit with the star players and they complement the star players on your team so my point is yeah if the Clippers go out and get Chris Paul it will be a big name it'll make headlines it'll do all those things but headlines and being a big name in the media and something to talk about in the offseason isn't worth a damn if it's not going to equate to a championship. And I know a lot of people may disagree with what I'm saying, but in reality, in hindsight, that's the way it is because, I mean, he got hurt with the Phoenix Suns in this this uh, playoffs, didn't he? So, I mean, there you go. I mean, they could have used his services you know, going forward, they might have actually possibly gave Denver more of a run if they had Chris Paul. But that's the thing. Chris Paul always get hurt when you don't need him to, which is the playoffs here the last couple seasons. Or he showed his age. And that's just not a recipe for success. So, I mean, either way, like I said, you know, hey, leave your comments in the comment section. You let me know what you think about it. And as always, we'll talk about it.